This is Dr. Sarkissian. In this video I will feature a wildly interesting surgical topic. A laser-assisted surgery involving the resection of an infected root tip and a simultaneous retreat of the root canal. Being a biological dentist, our first choice is to avoid root canals at all costs or remove the tooth if they fail. Regardless, the options are always presented to the patient and it is ultimately their choice. Periapical lesions usually appear in a dead tooth or a failed root canal and ultimately it is caused by the toxic and decaying dead tissue where the nerve had been before. And essentially what I call gangrenous tissue inside the canal which is leaking out into the bone beyond the root tip and creating a bubble of inflammation which results from the bone being eaten away essentially causing a hole in your jawbone. This is our case for today. The root canal retreat has to be started before the surgical flap. The access hole is drilled open and the old root canal is evacuated and instrumented to at least size 30 under rubber dam isolation. Laser disinfection is optional at this stage as during the surgery the canal will be widened with rotary files and gate spurs. For almost every step of the surgery I will be using the I plus water lays by BioLase. So here I'm showing you step by step um, setup procedures and we will start with the flap procedure. The water lays or the I plus in this case has preset programs which means it gives you the correct choices for the tips and preset uh, frequencies and power outputs. These settings can be adjusted very easily depending on what power and tissue effect we desire. It is essential to wear loops to get visual feedback as to the effect of the laser on the target tissue. Of course, it's advisable to always use a 3D scan or a CBCT to plan your case. And this is very important to establish the proper lengths and the proper entry points. The flap position has to be an attached or keratinized gingiva, at least two millimeters below or coronal to the periapical granuloma or the hole in the bone over which we will be opening our bone window to access the lesion. Oh, uh, I just forgot to tell you, the patient has been anesthetized. Even though laser dentistry is less painful or sometimes painless, but rest assured, this would otherwise hurt. At this point we are setting up the laser for the heart tissue or the root amputation setting which involves higher power and a different tip. Based on our CBCT length studies we use a perioprobe from the incisal tip to establish the exact entry point for our apicectomy. And the laser setting is the same for the bone window as well as the root so we do not have to make adjustments there. Water a little bit. 
Once we are through with the laser, we break the tip of the root out of the bone lesion and we start curetting. It's very important to curette every little piece of granulation tissue from the bone. Granulation tissue is very tenacious. You think you've got it all, but you haven't. You keep curetting and there's more and more coming out. If at some point you feel like there are too many undercuts and you can't get to it all, then just make the bone window a little larger. And don't forget to reach behind the little root stub that is sticking into the bone lesion, which shouldn't be more than one millimeter. After all inflammatory tissue is removed using curettes and excavators, we proceed with rotary instruments and gate spurs to widen the canal. And each instrument is pushed through the apex, confirmed visually. We try not to over widen the canal space, but definitely widen just enough to remove all toxic root dentin material along the walls of the canal. During and after this, we irrigate with sterile saline. And please do not use bleach or even peroxide because of the open surgical wound. And prepare our countersink trough at the root tip with the laser to apply the bioceramic seal. The walls of the void in the bone are lasered and irrigated again. Just a quick overview of a laser root canal showing how it is instrumented and the final disinfection stages use the water lays side firing tip which goes all the way or almost all the way down to the tip of the root and creating superior disinfection. The last phase which I'm not showing in this video is actually inserting or bubbling ozone gas directly into the canal and then using this bioceramic sealer called endosequence or any other bioceramic um, which in this case does not require a gutta percha point because we can visually see it coming out the other end before I forget, uh, I have to mention that this is the point where you have to seal the tooth, the lingual access with cavit, because then you may actually push out the MTA seal when you do that later. Right after this, we use MTA as the bioceramic seal. And the sequence also has its own seal. Other brands can be used as long as they exhibit absolute biocompatibility. Please do not use amalgam. And we pack it from behind into the trough that we created with the laser and just remove all the excess. And in this case, you see that we have a sterile uh, piece of gauze that we had inserted in order to keep the blood from going back into the canal during this whole process. Of course, the whole area is gently irrigated and all the remaining rests of the bioceramics are removed. We always use ozonated sterile saline during surgeries. However, ozone can be bubbled after irrigation directly into the bone space. And if the bone defect is too large, we may also choose to insert PRF or platelet-rich fibrin, which is prepared from the patient's own blood drawn preoperatively. What follows is an actual demonstration of an apicectomy and apical seal on an extracted tooth, just to give you an idea how efficiently the laser performs this task. I will actually be demonstrating two tips. One is a longer disposable tip called the MZ6, which may be easier to get and uh, access the uh, surgical area and the second one is the MX turbo tip which is more powerful 
which is used with a turbo handpiece. Enjoy the show. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need more resources on laser dentistry, please contact or visit biolase.com. You can also access a wealth of different videos and posts on my YouTube channel, Joseph Sarkissian DDS, where I post a lot of videos on every aspect of biological dentistry, including lasers, metal-free implants, and orthodontics. I also post almost daily on my Instagram, and please email me if you have more questions. Thank you again.